ding 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 Welcome to Bridge Nine Podcast, episode number three. Hat trick, we're here, we made it. All right, so let's uh, let's hop to it. Let's just get some business out of the way real quick. Let's plug that uh, Hero Font record again. We got a new LP coming from Hero Font. It's called Peste. It's out November twenty fifth. Pre orders are live now. There's a song streaming for that on Cult Nation, and we got seven inches for that that are getting thrown in free. Order two pieces of vinyl. Oh, yeah. Or just pre order the record and you get it. Yeah. Boom. Buy it. Buy That's it. it. Buy it now. Buy it. Read on store.com. They, uh, we also announced the Hierophant Tour today. If you live in Europe, go check them out. Yep. Touring, touring December, January, February. Bast- Bastions in the UK. Yep. And uh, Mutilation Rights. Yep. Yep. And Didn't, um, Euro. is it Lee from Good Time Boys? What about him? Didn't he uh, do a Bastions cassette recently i think i think i saw uh, him posting about a uh, palm reader i think so yeah very possible no that makes sense that's cool but um all right next order of business we got mystery boxes you wanted them we gave them to you buy them buy them they're going fast yeah we got some good stuff uh, yeah if you're not familiar with the mystery box uh been a couple other labels and other things doing them recently and people seem pretty unhappy with them so we we try not to give you just a load of uh, a, bunch of, a bunch of crap that we don't want. <laughs> yeah. Each one, depending on the box you get, comes with an exclusive 7-inch limited to 500. You can only get it in that box. Uh, toss in a bunch of other shit. CDs, vinyl, posters. Um, we're cherry-picking stuff from our vault to throw in there as yeah. well. So you may get a cool rare record. Yeah. I mean, we, well, test presses. some people definitely will get a cool rare record. Yeah. First pressings of stuff and not, and cool stuff too. So, yeah, if you've never ordered one it. before, people usually seem pretty happy with the outcome. Definitely worth the 15 bucks, I would say. But, uh, yeah, keep, uh, those will be shipping in like two ish weeks. So you have plenty of time. They're going pretty fast. Box one is almost sold out. We still have some left of the other boxes too, so peep it. Yeah, and the seven inches are cool as hell. You gotta love them. They are. are all... They're the, the. This is the coolest batch of seven inches we've done for these. I would say. You can't get them cool. anywhere else. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Don't don't wait. Don't sleep. Buy it. Buy it now. Buy it now. All right, uh, Schultz. I'm gonna kick it to you for that Lemuria seven inch, which was kind of just thrown on us today. <laughs> At least all the the final details. Yeah, for that. So today we launched pre-orders for a new Lemuria seven inch, which is coming out as part of the Silver Sprocket Labels Turnstile Comics series, in yep. which you get a seven inch with new songs from a band, as well as a comic book with its own little theme or story arc. In this particular one, it's about a, a tour Lemuria did in Russia, had a little adventure a few years back, and you get two new songs on the seven inch with a extra song download bonus yep uh so we have that on white limited to 200 did we, did available we, through us yeah we're we doing pre-orders for that yep okay yeah. so you can pre-order it right through our store yep and um, silver sprocket's got their own colors let me too. just tell you real quick buy it <laughs> just fucking buy, buy it. it and yeah that's uh that's all we got for uh yeah. bridge nine business uh, related check stuff. out check out one of the new Lemuria songs on uh, Stereo Gum too. Oh yeah. Check sure. it out. It's good. I think dude from the Marked Men recorded it. Oh really? Yep. It's yeah. cool. Check it's it cool. out. Don't miss it. Don't sleep. So yeah, let's uh let's segue into uh the fun stuff. The fun stuff. Oh, so, the fun stuff. Oh yeah. Last weekend, uh like we talked about on the it's last Halloween. podcast, Halloween. We had that big spooky episode yeah. that you just loved so much. Oh yeah. The kids were just eating it up again. Can't stop. But um crashed our servers. Yeah. So, Ryan had his Halloween party. I, I was it, there. I heard it was a he scene-for-scene scene recreation of the weird sex parties from Eyes Wide Shut. Yes. That Tom was, Cruise was there. Tom Cruise was there. Yeah. Yep. It, it was, was It was the, the greatest party of all time. Yeah. For all you all you listeners that showed up at the party since I sent <laughs> that, that invite on the last episode. <laughs> that open, specific invite. <laughs> With yep. no address. You know the address. No. <laughs> you know it. <clears throat> it was good, though. Honestly, it was pretty, fun. Pretty good party. It's yep. the first time I've been to your place, uh, not for like a... Well, I guess it was a specific reason, but not just to like... Chill. Yeah, exactly. Chill. So it was Schultz cool. Schultz didn't come. Schultz didn't Maybe show up. Maybe even better. 
You missed out. I would have liked to go had I not had prior engagements. Honestly, though, I think a lot of people might not have showed up if you if were you there. Came. Like, so if they knew you were coming. That's the real worry there, so. <laughs> I know, that was, was a sort concern of, of mine. Like, I would have liked, I would have liked to have the best of both worlds, you there as my friend, but he but, probably would have ruined it. But there would have been 25 less people there. I don't think I would have let you in. <laughs> so, there you go. <laughs> I would have called the police <laughs> if I saw you walking out of your car trying to come upstairs. <laughs> we have someone trying to break and enter. No, he's just weird. Please arrest him. <laughs> the cop they would go, know. oh, well, they when would. you explain it like that, yeah. we'll be They'd right be there. They'd be on my side. Yeah. yeah, it was cool. Were there any highlights from that? We watched, uh, wasn't expecting to watch YouTube videos on your TV <laughs> during the party. Yeah, there were some weird YouTube videos going on. That's cool. Uh, just go all around good, good hanging. Good costumes. Good costumes. What was Brian's costume? He was like, creepy was uncle a, dad? No, I think he was a character from, um... Uh, the true, wire. The wire. Oh yeah, it was the wire. I was I've never seen detective. the wire. He yeah. just I've like seen a, the wire. He doesn't uh, like a piece of shit. <laughs> 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 yeah, he looked. He just looked like a retired, yeah, like yeah. like Irish mobster from the Boston area. But I don't even know how to describe what he looked like. <laughs> yeah, like a weird looked sweater, crazy. gold chain. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, weird I've never seen hair, the wire. Glasses. Part, parted hair down the side. He shaved into a goatee. Yeah. Weird glasses. <laughs> He's carrying around shotgun shells and human hair. <laughs> Every Halloween, he shaves his beard into a goatee. Yep. The past two years. It just takes an opportunity to, to have a goatee. Probably important so, context. Brian is, a, Brian is a, a friend, friend of ours. Yeah. He works at uh, Run, Run for, for cover. cover. He's a pal playing bands with him. He's a cool, cool guy. Cool, funny guy. As yeah. you can, as bean you can bags. tell. Bean bags. Uh, bean dips. Beanie weenie. Bean, di- <laughs> bean boy. Beanie boy. You might know him as that. Yeah, I don't know. Bean box. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Inform us. <laughs> but yeah, the party was a success. It was a good time. People were there. It was cool. Ate candy. I made my world famous queso mm, for the first time out. ever. Mm. It was a hit, to be perfectly honest. It to be frank. Hit. What if I paid you? Would you make it for the office? Yeah, yeah probably. <laughs> sure. <laughs> pay him. Pay me. What well, will you pay it. me for it? How much do you want? How much do you got? How much are you willing to spend on queso you that, probably That I have to get. share with the entire office? Yeah. Uh, yeah, but you can have... It, I made a lot, so you can have as much as you want. The whole Pyrex want. full. Three, yeah. to, three to four dollars? Three to four dollars? That doesn't cover costs. That's what you pay in a Holy restaurant. shit. That's what you pay in a restaurant. You don't, where are you going, where are you going to get <laughs> vegan queso? That act, This is actually good. Uh, no, no. Three to four dollars for a Pyrex full of fucking queso? Pyrex? I don't know yeah. that word, but it pyrex, was a big... Like I don't know what a Pyrex is. It's a big rectangular container. Yeah, it's like a... Big glass. There was a lot. Thing. There was a lot in there. Damn. I used like a bag right. and a half of diet cheddar. I used uh, some tofu cream cheese. Oh, don't two give away! Don't sauces. give away the All recipe. Right, no secret whoa, recipe. Whoa, 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 I'll bleep whoa, that out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it was good though. Damn. Three to four dollars. Okay. Piece of shit. Wow. All that hard work. It's worth at least. This is just a negotiation. It's process, worth at least. Man. Fifteen, I would say. Fifteen dollars. But Schultz, yes. this is something you you will added not for get free, Ryan. So because it was a party. Yeah, I was the host. You provided a good time. Party. I provided a good what time. What do you do for me? Nothing. I'll invite you over. <laughs> okay. So sit on your weird couch. <laughs> sit on your small weird couch that's too close to your TV. Yeah. That sounds like a good time. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. You'll probably like make me do the dishes or something too. <laughs> it's a technicality. You brought her over, so it's your dish. That's not how it works. <laughs> I don't know. How does it work? One person cooks, the other person cleans. Okay. All right. But yeah, overall, good time. Halloween was fun. I uh, I enjoyed it. What did you do? Excellent. You Schultz. know what I did. You know I don't, what did you do? I don't know what you did what specifically. I did I've actually Halloween. barely talked to you since Schultz just got back today from the fest. The fest. So, uh, I don't know. What was the first day you were there? Was it Thursday or Friday? I got there, flew in Thursday. But so was like in, Friday the first day you were actually Friday doing something? Friday is technically, yeah, the first so day So you got there on Halloween, so we can kick it off with like, how was your Halloween there? My Halloween. What did you dress what did up you do? as? Yeah, I did, did not do a costume. Holy do anything? shit. Too much effort. I, I had were to you worry. wearing your fedora? Yeah, wear my fedora. fedora <laughs> oh, that's not a costume. Hello, ladies. That's just you, my lady. <laughs> uh, so we did the Bridge and Nine table at registration that day, of course. Yeah, it went pretty well. Uh, had a lot of people flocking the table. Flocking that was pretty the cool. Table? Yeah. We were, we were like the most popular table going at some points. Wow, you're so confident. We really were. But well, we, had a, we had a pretty good spot. It was right by the emergency exit. It was on the side of the room where people aren't really walking back and forth a lot, so there's actually space to get through. Because the line sort of just takes up the entire other aisle. Yeah, so sold a lot of stuff. People seemed very appreciative and excited we were there. Nice. Steve from Canada. Shout out. Steve. Oh, is that the kid with the Strike Anywhere banner? Yes. He was, Hell yeah, I was talking to him. He was extraordinarily grateful. Shout out to Steve. Did he buy it? 
We bought that on a ton oh, of yeah. stuff. Buy it. He was <laughs> good dude. It's the most loyal customer. That's good. He said, "Tell your boss you have the best label ever." Hell yeah! So you hear that? Buy it. Wow, <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah. So that was my Friday. So that was your Friday. That was how. That was your whole Friday. When, when does it wrap up? When does the registration? Registration wrap is twelve up? to seven. So I was I was there. Were like, you there until seven? I was there at ten a.m. for loading, and then yeah. True that. I'm there until seven. <clears throat> Not bad. And then I, uh, was anyone f- dressed up? Yeah, there was some costumes. Like what? One girl was dressed as Minnie Mouse. Uh, Generic. Classic. Classic. It's not great. Wow, that's harsh. <laughs> um, what other costumes did I see? I saw a Gumby a few days later, Gumby? actually. That was pretty good. A few Gumby, days later? Gumby was in the Lifetime Pit, I believe. Gumby in the Lifetime Pit? <laughs> yeah. That's sick. <laughs> yep. What other uh, funny costumes did I see? There wasn't actually too many. That was drastically memorable. Um, it did feel, feel festive, you know. Did you eat candy? Or uh, I saw, uh, candy? saw some kids dressed up as the three characters from Bob's Burgers. I don't watch that. I don't know what they are. Was it like good? the children? Yeah. Oh, okay. It was a good like, group costume. It's funny. I like those. Did you laugh? I did you take a picture with them? No. <laughs> oh, that's stupid. That's a wasted <laughs> opportunity. But did you eat candy? Uh, was candy like a thing? Candy was a thing. Actually, the table next to me were uh, two very nice people from Omaha selling screen prints. Screen and printed had- candy? <laughs> yes. Chemically laden candy. No, mm-hmm. they had a bowl of candy out on their table. What kind of candy? That's the thing. It was mostly just chocolate. So I chocolate. So you couldn't eat that chocolate. I could, could but eat? I chose what did you not eat? to. So what, what did, did you eat? eat? I didn't really have any candy, honestly. You had no Nothing. candy. The, I didn't see much candy around, and the candy that I did. It's Halloween. Was it's got to be candy. Wow, what a waste. Yeah, but what are you doing? Did you even look for it? How 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 does one look for candy as an adult? You seek it you, out. You it's you look Halloween. around for you know it, and then you ask people, "Hey, yeah, do you, you have any would, candy? Can I have some?" No, you know how I would get candy on Halloween? Oh. Like I would normally any day of the year. Go to a CVS and pick up a fucking well, lollipop. That's not, that's not festive. One lollipop. What is wrong with you? I'm saying you go to CVS and buy one first thing lollipop. Thing that, <laughs> all right, no, I don't do that. <laughs> but it was the first thing off the top of my head. You can't even buy a lollipop. You've never even seen them for sale individually. All right, it was just. A random yeah. example off the I'm top of my head. I'm concerned about your lifestyle vegan even can- more now. He said, he, I bet he goes into banks and just takes a lollipop <laughs> and leaves. <laughs> you do. Leaves. <laughs> you get in line That'd just be, to get, get one of the lollipops. That'd be a bounce. good scheme. You've done that before. I, I bet don't you think have. that's a scheme that's just a shitty person. Have you? No. Have you taken a handful of them? No. Have you ever I've never taken gone more into a bank <laughs> for a non-monetary purpose and taken candy. Have you ever taken more than your share of, of like anything that was given away for free? Yeah. Oh, very possible. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very like, possible. remember I made tacos for the office and you <laughs> took eight of them? He made eight tacos. So this is something oh that God. Tyler's been holding <laughs> over my head ever since it happened. He made tacos. I missed out. So he had leftovers. You didn't miss out. You bailed. I was bailed. inviting everyone over for a taco party bailed. in my you house. You invited me like 10, 30, and 9, you I think. bailed. No, I didn't. You knew about it. You did. Nah, some, you, you went to like a, some stupid show yeah, that you, you probably didn't. Oh, really so I never really to. bailed. I was yeah, planning on going bailed. to that show all along. You bailed. You fucking bailed. So I brought in the leftovers the next day they for everyone to enjoy. They were just going to go to waste. He wouldn't stop eating. Go to waste. He wouldn't stop eating. And them. he he ate. he ate an excessive amount of tacos. Eight tacos filled. Each one filled to the brim. Eight. And he also ate they the one remaining to the tortilla. They were not filled yes, to the brim. Yes, they were. It's an exaggeration. I had two. Yeah, That's probably two crazy overstuffed tacos. You had eight. I had eight crazy. with a little bit in each oh tortilla. Oh my god, that's an excessive amount of tacos. <clears throat> and I, hey, I also provided my own sour supreme. Oh wow. Okay, never mind. Oh wow. I should have okay. paid you fifteen dollars for that. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, so Friday <laughs> bands play on Friday too, right? You don't just register the whole day. Yeah, uh, okay. bands so play Friday. Who'd you see? What's the first band you saw on Friday night? Ooh, yeah, who did I see? I ended up catching Ooh, the last song of Young, Young and Heartless. Was that the first that? band? It's that uh, like emo y band. I don't know. Sounds sort of like mid period brand new, like with a little know. bit of Counting Crows. <laughs> I, don't I know. know. It's I don't know what that definitely is. Definitely not up here, Ali. It's really, they're really All good. Right. They're really oh, good. Okay, they're really good. So I caught their last song. All right. Then Friday night, I believe I saw, I want to say Paint It Black and Strike Anywhere. Oh, yeah. How's that? Whole sets? Yeah, there was kind of a stacked bill at eight seconds going on. It was Did like Paint It Black, off? Strike Anywhere, a Wilhelm Scream. It's Did you good. go off? Yes, I went off. To who? Both? Pretty much all three of those bands. Did you? But the crowd was a little rough for my liking, so. They were, throwing, they were targeting him, throwing beers they at were. him. They <laughs> were. They were. You said they were targeting I didn't say targeting. <laughs> Why? But I did feel a lot of beer thrown on me. Why? Were, well, like, even more so were they angry at you, or was this just no, no, classic, no, no, no. like, this, silliness? This is what they do at Fest. They okay. They buy cheap beer. at you? Yes. Buy cheap beer and just throw it in the air. Nice. That's fun. It's socially accepted there for some strange reason. Nice. I'm not even straight edge or anything. I just don't want to be drenched in shitty alcohol. True. 
Which they I, were targeting him, though. I don't think they were targeting him. They were. They definitely were. Were you suspicious the, of them targeting you? A no, little. No. A little. No. You said they were. I, to be no, honest, I, I, would, I would target you. Ryan is openly lying you. again. I would target <laughs> you. As he's prone to do. <laughs> I would target you. Yeah, you would. I would. You would buy a beer, Breaking Edge, just to throw it at me. Yes. It's, not edge, it's not Breaking Edge to buy a You're beer. You're contributing to alcohol culture, though. Oh, okay. Is that what it is? Throwing it at you. I don't know. You tell me. You're you're the you're the edgers. All right. Well, it's not, and it would be well worth it. I think Ian Mackay would give us his blessing. Yes. (laughs) Uh, A lot of push pits too. To paint it black. Slam pits. Any slam pits? (laughs) Oh yeah, you're Uh, gonna start a slam pit. uh, It was part of the slam pit that I did not want to be in. You got caught in the mosh. Caught in the mosh. Always caught in the mosh. I just want to sing along, but I get pushed back and forth, and when you're Getting kind of old and really, you're, and you're still really small like me. Four foot nine. Fun. You're rickety. Exactly. I'm a rickety old man. Rickety old man. Small man. Yeah. All right. So who else? Uh, Give us a quick recap of each day of the bands you saw. I don't know if I can remember it day to day, but I can tell you. Tell me right. a couple bands. Yeah, you let's saw. see tell- the highlights. Highlights. Touche more. Touche more. There was some more push pitting there, but I enjoyed them a lot. I saw a couple of uh, videos of their set. It seemed yeah. like kids were going off. They had a huge reaction. Yeah. Comparable Did they to, play one of like the bigger places? Big yeah, stage? they played like the second biggest stage, I would say. Nice. Second biggest venue. Uh, Make Do and Men was good. That was only their second show this year, Do actually. Do you think you were the oldest person in every audience? <laughs> no, definitely not. <laughs> Fest actually has like older crowds where I'm probably the median age. All right. There are a lot of young kids, too, though. Um, yeah, Make Do and Men was great. Played uh, their first album front to back. Wow. That was fun. Um... Self Defense Family was great. Really Almost good. didn't get into the venue, but just made it in and watched. Big crowd for them. Yeah, the venue was packed out to capacity. That's good. Yeah, they were great. That's where you're going to start the slam pit. Remember? Yeah. Actually, you you're not the, the you're not the first person that asked me that. What? Well, if, you, if you started you the Lee, Lee from Good Time Boys asked if, uh, hey, did you start a push pit to Self Defense? Was family? he referencing the podcast, or was he just he may have been. just messing know. around? Yeah, I think he was just been. messing around, though. I'm going to say he was referencing the podcast because everyone has listened to it so far. Shout out to Lee. One love, baby. I just oh, talked yeah. to him today through email, actually. Nice. Changing his address. That's move. good to know. Congrats on the move, man. Hope it went well. Woo. Your new records will be there soon. <clears throat> but yeah, so then Creepoid was great. They followed a self-defense family. Uh, saw Descendants. Wow. That was really good, good obviously. Yeah. Uh, saw Marked Men. How long did the Descendants play for? I think they had about an hour set. I just watched a half hour. Not bad. Yeah. Mark Men was Mark pretty good. good. Yeah, they kind of do just do one thing, but that one thing's pretty good. Pretty good. Fast, fast pop punk songs, old style. All right. Uh, what else did I see? <laughs> Who else did you see? <laughs> did you see? You were there. I know. Were you yeah. drunk? I was Did a little bit. Drunk? I was a little bit drunk. Oh my god! I'll admit. That's so irresponsible. You were drunk selling our yeah, shit. I know. Oh people my were god. just handing me. You were drunk drinks. selling our shit. Wow. The friendly, the friendly people next to me handed me a the candy people Budweiser Apple Teeny. What the hell? Oh, or something. <laughs> so I was like, "Fuck it." He's Sounds like, "Try terrible. this. It tastes like apple juice." Did it? So I had one of those. So you're drunk on apple juice. And then juice? some foreign guy needed to borrow my phone to contact his friends because his mm-hmm. phone died. So he bought me a beer. And then I think I think it was Steve from Canada actually that just. Yeah, offered me beer. Hey, hey, you want a beer? Handed me a Heineken. So I had three drinks in a very short period. You could of time. have been responsible and turned it down. When you when you're only four foot eight, you <laughs> <laughs> you get drunk real fast. I off know. Those beers. Yeah. So you don't have a very high resistance tolerance. I've seen you get drunk off one beer. Damn. You drove drunk. I've seen you you get drove drunk. me drunk on uh, New Year's Eve. That was last not year. true. I bought you a pizza and you were totally drunk, blacked out, <laughs> driving me around. Yes, that's something that happened. Yeah. Um, restorations was great, all right. of course. Uh, I think about it covers all, all of the highlights. That's the rundown, huh? <laughs> so, so a little bit into it, over it. Kitty okay. Hawk. So what'd you do in between? What do you do in between? In between? Yeah, you were there for what? Three days? Four. Four? Three four, and a half? Four days. Thursday, four days? pretty much Thursday night through uh, Monday afternoon. So, so you had to have got done a, something else. Yeah, I had great food. Oh yeah, who was your favorite set? It was my favorite those. set yeah. the whole week. Who did you enjoy the most? Holy shit. I don't know. Maybe maybe Self Defense Family. Yeah. They played really a lot of new that. stuff that was real good. You loved it. All right. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a lot. The crowd vibe has a lot to do with it. You know what I mean? My crowd vibe was good. Everybody just standing still, enjoying themselves. Oh, you said there was Slam Mosh. I know. No, for the big bands there were. Not Self Defense. Correct. Oh, Sidekicks. Sidekicks were great as well. Saw so some of the Melvins, Hot Water Music. It's hard to remember all these bands that I saw. Yeah. 
Wow. Sounds like quite the weekend. So, so um, when you weren't when yeah. you weren't uh, <laughs> watching bands, what were you doing? What I was eating food, you delicious food. What Got did food you eat? Reggae shack. Was that the, that's the Jamaican jerk? Yeah. Did you get the Jamaican jerk tofu? No, I had the TVP special What's texture that? vegetable protein. Okay. They had a mango papaya flavor that day. How was that it? That was incredible, delicious. Oh, maybe comes oh, with wow. rice and some cabbage veggies. Mm-hmm. And then uh, the next day, I think actually yesterday uh, before I went to the airport. I got uh, their kind of fake, like, vegan steak. So you went back? Yeah, I went back and oh, got their vegan yeah. steak, which is nice. And you brought it onto the airplane with I you, I did. Huh? It's yeah. got a nice sweet sauce. It comes with plantains and beans, too. It's so great. You can't not bring it on an airplane with you. It was great. Was this like a desperate, like, oh, God, I got to get this in before I go to the airport? Because kind of. <laughs> of course it was. Well, that and, like, <clears throat> I, knew if, I, knew, I knew if I got to the airport, there wasn't going to be many options. So True, except for those weird chips you had today. Not, well, this was the Gainesville Airport, which is very small. And they had when a, did you get those chips? At the Miami Airport. The Miami was layover. I had a layover. Uh, I didn't know there was a layover. True. Yep. Also had uh, Karma Cream, which was great, and vegan ice cream and sandwiches. Oh, did they have that vegan soft serve again? Like at no. that convenience? That wasn't a thing? Remember that? Like, they may yeah, have had it. Great. They so, had. I think they actually they did, but I never got to the convenience It was only store. like 50 cents or a dollar really? for like a, like a cone, like a no. decent cone of like I never made vegan it. soft serve. I never made it to the convenience store. That's good. I've heard good things, though. Yeah. It was sick. Yeah. So some what pizza, else? Some black bean burger. Sounds That's like you good. ate a lot. Listen, kind listen. Of. I don't think that people want to hear about the food. What, what else what? did you do in between? Yeah. What shots? else did I do? I don't know. Talk to people. Ran Who into did you a lot talk of. To? Ran into a lot of friends. Made some new friends. Did you, you know? happen to use uh, an application with a flame as the icon and <laughs> swipe through? And <laughs> this sounds like a very girls? leading question, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> did you meet anybody like online through some kind oh, of application? <laughs> 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 Are you talking about something called Tinder, guys? Oh, yep. yeah, oh, I think that's oh, it. I believe that's the name. <laughs> yes, Were you I, swiping all weekend? I may have used this this application a couple times this weekend. Were you compulsively weekend. using this application? Compulsive? What is yeah. compulsively? How many? How, like I can't how much myself? time did yeah. you spend swiping? <laughs> how much time did I spend? Yeah. I don't know, more than 10 to 15 minutes total. And how did that go? Did you end up meeting anybody? Yeah, I met a few few people. A few? Woo! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Woo, <laughs> woo! All right. So how'd that oh, go? baby. I think it went well. I made three. I, w- new, I made three new friends. You, did you go on dates for each of these people? Would you call them? I don't know. Meet you ups? could really call them dates or meetups. <clears throat> one was there was really only one that was like a definitive scheduled date slash meetup, and okay. uh, I don't think she was looking for for any hanky panky. She just <laughs> <laughs> hanky panky. <laughs> what just, the fuck? <laughs> You know what I mean. Who says right. that shit, man? I don't know. Him. Old men. The guy that likes Tootsie Rolls and wears white socks. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa. <clears throat> Grandpa Schultz. Looking for hanky panky. <laughs> uh, but she was she was a very nice woman. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Um, what did you guys do? Was this the lunch on date? The date? The lunch date. Yeah, we had Where'd a lunch you go? date. We went to uh, Gyro Plus. All right. Yeah, I just got some lentil soup and pita bread because I wasn't I was kind of full from breakfast still. True. We had free breakfast at the hotel. That was of course. Quite nice. oh, so what man. did you eat? At Gyro Plus? No, for the free breakfast. I feel like your options. They had a that. pretty wide variety. Surprisingly, they offered they offered uh, like potatoes on one day. They had cereal, and we had a fridge in our room, so we bought almond milk, wow. kept wow. it in there. Pretty good. Yeah. So okay. Cereal, fruit. So who's bagels, the next person? The who's dates. the next person? The next person that I met? Yeah. Well, that was the middle person that I met, actually. All right, person. so that's number two. Let's okay. Start. Yeah, I asked for number one. Who was number, number one? one? Number one was uh, another nice uh, girl. And how'd that go? How'd you meet? What'd you do? We just hung out at venues, watched bands together pretty much, talked, how got much to know time each did you other. spend together? I think I spent more time with her than most other people that oh. knew it fast, actually. Interesting. That's, yeah. that's cool. That's How'd it go? No. Yeah. It went well. a little rundown. Nothing, nothing happened, mind you, but... Are you still in touch with her? Yeah, we're still in touch. Did we're you talk talking. to her today? Yeah, actually. Wow. I complained to her about my car getting sideswiped. You know? Wow. Yeah. yeah? What did she say? Was she sympathetic? She was sympathetic. Yeah. That's true. How did everything go when you say goodbye to her? How was the last day hanging with her? How was the last day? Yeah. Yeah. How like, how, well, how was your departure with this How was person? my departure? It was a nice hug goodbye. Mm-hmm. Hmm. And uh, talk to you soon, et cetera. Yeah. Yeah. That's I think it. I think you get a little more to tell the to the people. <clears throat> a little more to tell the people. Yeah. Do the people, people need to know? People want to know. People need to know, baby. They need to know. This is this is supposed to be honest journalism, Schultz. <laughs> honest journalism. We have a huh? reputation to upkeep. All right, so me and this girl may have had some flirtatious messages going back and forth okay. over the course of the weekend. Mm-hmm. You were feeling it. So I thought maybe by the end there would be a little bit of hanky panky, shall you say? Romance. Yeah. Romance. But uh, it was not to be. 
as I would soon discover. How, how did you how, discover how, that? How did you discover <laughs> that it was not well, meant to be? Well, at one point, we end up in her rental car. What kind of car was it? I'm not going to say. Yeah, what kind of car was it? <laughs> well, I know, I want, that doesn't matter. I just want to know. I think it was a Dodge Charger. What is, the, what mm. is that? Avenger? No, Dodge Avenger. Mm, good car. Sure. Great car. So okay. you're in her adventure. Yep. And, uh, you know, we talked a little bit. She said, uh, so what do you want to do? And what does you say? What did you say? I said, well... Well, you would get... So she says that, but you were getting these flirtatious vibes from mm-hmm. her all bit. weekend. You were feeling bit. pretty good. Yeah. So you says what? I said, well, if we're going to make out, I guess. could be in this <laughs> car right here. And she goes... Whoa, I didn't mean that. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, I actually didn't know that. That's how her response. <laughs> wow. All yeah. right. And she, she clarified. She said, no, I would, but I'd rather go somewhere else. True. And my response was, well, I, you know, I just don't know where else to go. Cause... You told me today you were thinking about driving to an alley. <laughs> no, I didn't. You said that you, you told no. me that. You told I, me that. Well, how am I supposed to drive? It's her car. Well, either you were like, you, you thought like an alley w- might no, be no, a no, solution. No, 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 no. You said no, no. that. You I did, did not. That. You did. I really didn't. Okay. I really didn't. I don't know. I think, but there I think was, you brought that you, up. As your a, hotel room was was occupied. You gave away your key. I had let my a roommate borrow my key. She so you couldn't go back to your place. But I still actually, I still don't fully get that because. There was was there no one at the hotel room at this point? They locked the doors. Like you need a key just to get through the front door. Oh, true. By, by a certain okay. point. Okay, but time. you didn't even try to suggest going back to her, to her place. place. I just felt Why? weird, like because I felt like it was me inviting myself over, and I think she had actually been checked out of her hotel even oh, by then because okay. oh, they were driving oh, back to Orlando Atlanta. that night. So there's that. But then what? So, <clears throat> so I said, well, like, how, yeah, like I said, how? well, okay. And she said, well, this is awkward now. <laughs> oh, man. Just right acknowledged, huh? Yeah. Do you so think she made was, it awkward or you made it awkward? A little bit. Eh, a, little a little bit of both? both <laughs> you sure. think so? Yeah. I mean, you could have not suggested that and said, hey, why don't we go get ice cream or something? Yeah, that would have been a good idea. <laughs> 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 it's easy to it's easy to reflect now and say, oh well, that would have been a good idea. But True. when you're in the moment, you, you're not you're nervous. But you've done things there like this pa- before. There was passion and flowing <clears throat> through that car. Yeah, apparently not. The windows apparently were fogged not. up with passion. No, maybe fogged up from the heat we turned on because Florida passion. Florida was a strange like icebox that whole weekend. Do you True. think she just didn't want to kiss you or didn't want to kiss you in the car? She Who kept... doesn't want to smooch in a car. You know, <sighs> people have their preferences. That's all. I'm not going to knock it. Uh, I was obviously down, but it doesn't go for everybody the same way. I was, so, I was, I was kind of ready to just hop out of the car and <laughs> you were gonna run, <laughs> run away. <laughs> she, I was just gonna jump out of the moving car. And just it wasn't moving. It was parked. But was you were, parked. you were about as soon as she said, "This is awkward." You're just gonna open the door and walk away. <laughs> <laughs> Felt like I, my presence Tip probably wasn't. Tip your door and be like, "My lady, <laughs> <laughs> my lady." I wasn't gonna go on some crazy friend zone rant, but. Like, <laughs> I think I just felt like maybe her presence wasn't terribly welcome, but why? I feel like that's you could have quickly moved on. Did you? We even, did, did you though. S- we did though. We quickly moved on. Did you apologize? Later on, I apologized. You should have said, "Oh, my, my bad. I'm sorry." Like I was just getting. I think I know. I think I did. You like, did. Quickly so, like, oh man, okay. I was I was I was out of my mind. Out yeah, of, I was fucking st- crazy. St- st- yeah, yeah, I was high I on PCP. Yep. Yeah, I like did some <laughs> shit. Yeah. in the bathroom, like I fucked out. Yeah. <laughs> I started sorry. out of sorry, and then uh, we just kept hanging out for a little longer. That's it, really. In the car? Yeah, she got Taco Bell. <laughs> oh, okay. You didn't get anything? I wasn't hungry. How either. did you resist? I had For just, later, for the play. I had just eaten that black bean burger. I was set. True. And that's it? And then she dropped you off at the hotel room? Well, we picked up her, uh, her roommate, who had gone to the fest with her. Okay. Uh, he went to a secret show at the Holiday Inn. Yeah. Um... And we kind of just waited for him in the car in that car, in that parking lot. Was that awkward? No, just talked. Guess talked. What did you talk about she, there? She opened up about uh, past relationships and things. Oh, got mm. heavy, huh? That got a little heavy. Yeah. Mm. A little mm. heavy. Did you make you jealous? Did you open make up you too? Yeah. Did you open up? Very little, but yeah. Yeah, I opened up a little bit. What did you talk about? <laughs> what I talked about. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, all right. But whoa, whoa, whoa. date number. Three? Yeah. It wasn't really a date. It was me running Regardless. into this person. T- Tinder, Tinder meetup number three. Me going, 
Wait, you ran into this person without like trying to meet them? It was no, just no, a weird well, no, no, no. She was she said like, they hey, was chatting up. Yeah, well, yeah she I, said, knew you, I knew listen, you were talking to her. She said, "Hey, I'll be wearing this if you okay. see me, say hi." Okay. So, but I, it wasn't like a planned meeting. No. Really? So I ran into her. Mm-hmm. You like, were you, I'm like, you hey. admit that you were searching for her desperately. You were searching for her. I was you were keeping it her out. Mind. I was keeping an eye out. So I was like, "Hey, name? Did you have binoculars? Yes. Yes, I had a spyglass. All right. I said, "Hey, name." And she said, she just kind of gave me a look <laughs> of unrecognizableness. Why? I don't know. And I said, Brian? And she still uh, just shakes her head in, mm-hmm. you know, fear. Mm-hmm. Shakes her head in fear. Of course. Wow. I mean, yeah. And, you know, so I have to say Tinder. Yeah. And then she gets a, a wave of realization goes, oh, okay. Classic. Yeah. And then what? And then we talked and. Was this like Jerrigan Band set? No, it was right after. Okay. And uh, so we hung out, talked for five, ten minutes. I, I stuck around. We watched uh, Fake Problems together. Mm-hmm. And we talked a little bit more. And that's it? That's more or less Parted it. I, I tried to hang out with her later on, but it just didn't work out because no. she was in a venue that was at capacity, so I couldn't even get in. True. Mm, I'm sure that was the reason. Mm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hey, I was the one that couldn't get into the venue. It's true. Even though you were desperately trying to get in. How much did you offer the doorman to he get in? He was offering him money. <laughs> He's like, all right, listen, man, I'll give you $3 problems. to let me in. $3. $3. You know how much money that is to me? <laughs> <laughs> wow. That so was it. That was, that was do you romance. think it was successful just because you met met three women and, and talked to them? Or was it unsuccessful because they all ended in tragic failure? Tragic failure. Yeah. And heartbreak. And heartbreak. No did you heartbreak. cry? There was no heartbreak. Did you cry? There were no tears. You no didn't heartbreak, cry. no tears. Did you mumble anything under your breath after? <laughs> oh, after any of these? No, there were no crazy breath mumbling. All right. Rants. So you just. You know. Who who were you the most interested in out of all these? Car, car, car woman, car, car girls. Tell me. She's cool. Yeah. She was the one, the one that got away. <laughs> I don't know about that. Let's not get too. It's crazy. always next year, right? Maybe. Where's she from? Oh, I don't want to specify. I don't there's know. always an, there was always another fest to go speed dating at. That's true. <laughs> There'll always be another one. Well, I'm sorry about that, Schultz. You'll find some somebody someday. Well, those were just attempts at temporary little flings, of course. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. You'll find the one. You'll find one the one day. someday. Maybe. Th- thank us for encouraging you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. All right. Okay. So uh, let's uh, let's get out of that mode a little bit. Let's uh, yep. let's segue into um, record store day. Record store day. The, yeah, the second. This isn't the. I don't know. <clears throat> this is like the secondary record store day coming up on Black yeah. Friday. The real ones in uh. It's still being called record. It's store still day, record right? store day, but I don't know. It is strange that they like, have two. This is like a recent thing, right? Yeah, I think the the spring record store day is still the bigger deal yeah. one, <clears throat> but. Black Friday Record Store Day is coming up. Um, Do we have anything exclusive for that? Yes, we're doing a Rude Awakening 7-inch. It's called Dragging the Anchor. Um, Yeah, it's a Record Store Day exclusive. It features uh, two songs from Collateral Damage and a cover of a Wrecking Crew song that is exclusive to the release. It's a good one. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, Made 500 of them, all on clear vinyl, only available for Record Store Day, so... That's your only chance. So Go get it. Buy it. Buy it. Purchase. Don't wait. But yeah, record store day. How do we feel about record store day? Any good experiences in the past? Uh, good finds? I think record store day in theory is cool, but I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> like the rush and like the, the exclusivity up, of things. Waking up at six AM on a Saturday. <clears throat> yeah. And just like <sighs> pressing plants get so backed up. True from people pressing <laughs> record store day stuff it's insane so if you work at a record label I mean, we have stuff getting it's not fun it's annoying to deal with now because yeah. record store day luckily our stuff went through fine i put it through really early so planned ahead of time but i mean there i'm sure there are a bunch of places like late to the game just trying to like pump shit through and yeah. you know but the idea of it's cool you know support brick and mortar stores for sure and whatnot Especially because, like, I mean, 
they're really most of them most of the coolest ones are like one offs you know they're like yeah. mom and pop shops or like at best like a, a very small like localized chain yeah, so yeah. I kind of like when it's a new <clears throat> release too and it's not just like a reissue or something yeah yeah get brand new material stuff. like Lemuria Room or 7 inch of course. yes we did that one year Bar- the yeah, two years ago we did New Found Glory's uh, Ramones covers yep. EP. Well, that was something. That Is that the, the LP? Yeah. 12 yep. inch yep. EP. 12 inch EP. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It, I still participate in it. I don't wake up at like six in the morning <laughs> and get in line. But uh, it's cool to go and pick up cool an exclusive stuff record. Granted, this is the other one, so maybe it'll be that much more like in the spring. But I don't know. There have been some other cool well, stuff isn't it too. Black like Friday. Yeah, it's Black Friday. So basically, so as soon as you finish of, Thanksgiving dinner, yeah. you have to rush out to your record store. Yeah. records you want. Or skip <laughs> skip out on your family totally and just wait in line at, yes, at a record store. To buy things. Yeah, which I have friends who do that. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, and, like, it's got to look crazy because, like, I don't know, some a lot of people, a lot of areas don't have, like, access to record store. Their releases don't have stores and whatnot. Yeah. So, I mean, there are people who just buy an insane amount of records and just flip them, mm-hmm. which kind of sucks. Yeah does but at the same time if people yeah it sucks you know (laughs) it sucks that people are willing to pay it's such an inflated cost for something too that's why it's at least cool when we're not doing this with the rude awakening so much but it is cool if it's like a new like a new release or something that they do like a records for day edition and then they do like like another variant yeah so at least you can if you want the content you can still get it yeah even though nerds usually just want the uh, most exclusive variant yeah, but uh, but it's cool. We've had some fun. I mean, I don't even really buy records, but like we've a couple years prior, even like Death Wish has opened their doors and done like an open house, which is cool. Yeah, that was cool. Do some stuff there and just kind of traveled around to different record record stores and check stuff out. It's I don't know. It's kind of a cool thing just to make a day out of, I guess. If you can get a group of people together, it's yeah. a good time. There's usually there's usually some stuff of interest. Yeah. La- I'm trying to think of the last one. Last one, there was some pretty cool stuff. I think, uh, again. The Codeine thing? Was that last yeah, year? Yeah, I think that was last year. The Codeine Live LP. Mm-hmm. You yeah. like that? I like that. I actually think I was in, a. Uh, I was in New York. During, That's right. During that time. So, oh yeah, I was trying to get the Tang box set, too. Which I didn't get on Record Store Day, but I did end up finding. Wow. But uh, I think that might have been all I got last year. What did you get, Schultz? Yeah, Schultz? On Record Store Day? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. You got a cave-in record, didn't you? No, I tried to. And tried to? You didn't get it? I think Brian snatched it before I could get to oh, it. Oh, wow. You suck, huh? <laughs> Beanbag, <laughs> baby. I didn't, that shit. I didn't get anything that I truly wanted. I'm sorry. Nothing. Nothing. Not the Sunny Day Real Estate Circuit Survive Split. Not the yeah, cave I thought you LP. got that. <laughs> so what did you get? I think, Nothing. I think Armageddon was only carrying like one or two of them, or, or maybe even zero. Wow. And Newberry Comics ran out before I even got there. That's sad. Yeah, Newberry Comics is a shit show. <laughs> and then in the end, I realize eh. you'll be fine. <laughs> I'll be fine. I think you I survive. Can, I think I can live. You don't even have a record player <laughs> set up yet. <laughs> you don't have speakers. I don't have speakers. I have the still record don't have speakers, set up. huh? It's been a little busy. The this last is a week. long process. It's been a little busy the last week. Okay. You said that last time, and I still just saw you sleeping all day. It's been a very busy desk. past month. He had a chair that leaned there all the go. way back, <laughs> flat, and he would just be <laughs> asleep in his chair, leaned totally flat, totally yeah. horizontal. Yeah, so I would be unconscious at work. Yes. And apparently people in the office are okay with this. No, they're not. We just don't they're know not. what to do. It's awkward, Because you, you frighten us. I don't know, wake so you, you just don't know how to approach <laughs> me, apparently. Yeah. And you have those weird out-of-body experiences, so we don't know what's going on, you know? It's just sleep paralysis. Yeah. 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 Record store day is cool. Yep, Black <clears throat> Friday. Go check it out. Uh, I'm sure we'll have a Black Friday sale. Oh, yeah, point. we'll have a Black Friday sale. It Keep a look out for it that. It won't be record store day related no. because... I think it, I I don't agree with online stores because it's record store, store, day, store day, not record label day. Exactly, but we will have a, a little something for you. Coincidental, uh, yeah, Black Friday sale. I'm sure. So it's gonna be sick. Keep a lookout for that. It'll be a good one. Yeah, I think that's uh that'll probably do it. This one's a little bit shorter. We're Short um and sweet. yeah, we don't have as much stuff coming up. At least that we're going to. We kind of had that run of festivals we were doing. So. 
Um, not as much stuff to anticipate, at least as far as uh, us being places. But yeah, I want to encourage people to submit questions. You can uh, right now submit them to Tyler at Bridge Nine dot com. First time was cool. We had a handful. We have a couple that we're kind of putting on the back burner. This isn't something we'll probably do every single week, but when we have enough accumulated, we'd love to, to answer some questions. And it literally can be anything. It can be Bridge Nine related or just punk or hardcore related or honestly life whatever life you know questions. like yeah we just we want some participation in that realm so do it tyler at bridge com. hit me up and uh we'll answer your stuff on uh on here hopefully next episode but um that's pretty much it we're actually i know a lot of people have been asking about itunes and and like an rss feed and stuff and we are working on that i think we need a landing page so we're working on getting that added to our site yeah. So hopefully, very soon, all this will be available, like at your convenience, pretty much anywhere. Ooh, proper outlets. Yeah, anywhere you you can download your podcasts. Um, we will be getting there hopefully very soon. So keep a look out for that. Keep listening. We really appreciate like you guys listening so far and checking it out and um, and whatever. So I think that's been it for this one. Episode number three down. Peace. Later. Keep it real. Oh,